What's going on, y'all? It's Broly Bad Boy back with another video. This is Herbs Day again. If it's between Sustanch and Tom Cat Ali, which one would I choose? Which one should you choose? Tune into the video and I'll tell you which one. So first of all, if you're watching this video, you're wondering, what are these things if you don't already know about either one of these herbs? So let me just give you a brief rundown before we go into why you should use it and which one you should use over the other one. What are the benefits, similarities, differences? Let's get at it. So Tongkat Ali is a small shrub native to Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam. People often call it Malaysian ginseng a long jack. A long jack, you know what I'm saying? That's another word for John, whatever. You know, all the little euphemisms we use for the, you know what I'm saying? That's how we gonna say right here on YouTube, you know what I mean? It's known to increase sexual performance and sexual health. Fertility in men, make your sperm count more, make your mobility of your sperm more, make you produce more of it. Has aphrodisiac properties. Raises testosterone, improves erections and sexual ability, reduces stress and anxiety, and improves athletic performance. Also gives you some stimulant boosts. That's why even outside of this sexual stimulant, and also outside of its libido enhancement. It's good for athletes as well. It's gonna give you a little bit of a stimulant boost. Now, Sustanch, on the other hand, is a desert herb, also known as the desert ginseng. It's native to Northwest China, Mongolia, Iran, and India. A lot of desert places. Hence the name ginseng of the desert. Normally using Chinese tonics to increase the test levels and the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and things of that nature. So it has some long-term brain effects as well. It's also good for gut health. So it's going to increase the amount of inflammation and also the amount of health going back and forth through your gut brain axis, going back and forth through that vagus nerve. It's going to increase your male libido, energy, mood, cognitive abilities, focus and memory, just to name a few things. Let's start now with how they're similar and how they're different. So as I mentioned before, Tomcat is going to give you some sort of stimulant boost. Whereas Sustanch is not going to give you that. But Sustanch is also going to help you with the gut, make you more regular with your bowels if you use it over the long term. Tomcat is going to give you an immediate response to stress and anxiety, which is beneficial. Whereas you're probably not going to see that in the short term with Sustanch. You're going to see more of a long-term brain function health uh, aid. They both are gonna make sure that your cortisol levels are lower, which is something that also affects your testosterone and affects how stressed you are. So they're both gonna have that in common. One of the main differences in my opinion, Tonkat Ali, if taken in too high of dosages, can cause severe insomnia, can also lower your blood pressure. So now that you know that, you know that they're pretty much similar. They're both kind of referred to in the same likeness of what ginseng would do normally to somebody. If, if that's your only interest in either one of these herbs, they're both going to do that similar thing as it relates to increasing your libido and also increasing your sperm count, sperm ability and sperm motility, which means, you know, how well your sperm are moving and the quality of your sperm. And also make you, like I said, your libido make you more ready to have sex when you need to. And also give you a little bit of energy boost. Like I said, Tomcat is going to give you a lot more. And on the other end, Sustanch is going to give you a lot more brain health long term. And also, and also the gut health piece. Now, you might say, if they're similar in that way, and all I got to worry about is headaches or insomnia with the Tomcat, um, which one should I take? Why would I take one or the other? What I'm going to say to you is that this is from my own personal experience. Me taking Tomcat, I experienced the insomnia that they speak of. I also experienced the fast beating of my heart, things of that nature, that and headaches that didn't make this a viable thing for me going forward. So Sustanch, me taking Sustanch is something that I still take right now. I do notice the focus and the memory as well as the libido boost and those things of that nature. Um, and for, for those people out there that are not sensitive to stimulants, it wouldn't be it wouldn't hurt for you to take both of them combined or Tonkat Ali if that's what you prefer. It's going to help you. Most times you find a lot of these supplements that do these similar things and blends because they are adaptogens. So they're going to mix well with each other. I would just 
be cautious of the Tongue Cat Ali effect. And then when you get it, gonna make sure that you take it in probably a lot smaller dosages than you would take the Sustanch. Whereas Sustanch, you can take 200 milligrams daily. You should probably only be taking 25 milligrams of Tongue Cat every two to three days. So you don't want to continuously take this because it's going to have some really nasty effects if you just keep taking this. And there are plenty of videos out there that are going to purport these things. Um, that's not why I'm here today. Like I said, they're both viable sources if you want to boost your libido and your test levels. But for the safety, the safety of it, I would recommend Sustanch. And there's also a couple other benefits that make it my prime choice if you're going to take any herb or supplement or combination of supplements, look for substantia in there. And like I said, it's up to you. And also consult with your doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm just giving you my opinion and my use case of both of these. Like I said, my experience with Tomcat didn't go so well. Didn't go as planned. Substantia, I'm still taking that right now and I'm starting to see even more effects than just what I initially looked it up for. So I am seeing the focus in memory. I am seeing the, the libido effects. I'm seeing the energy and mood increase. So for that, my recommendation, my stamp, Herbs Day stamp, is Sustanch. Sustanch tuberosa. There's also Desert Cola, but you want Sustanch tuberosa. That should get you right. That should get you right all night. And this has been Herbs Day. Check me out. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm here for y'all every Monday. Write to me. Talk to me. I talk back. Hope y'all appreciate the videos, the shorts, all the good information I try to share in the community I try to build. And hit me up on the next Herbs Day. Peace.